A familiar sound of summer is returning as dirt bike riders are out on the streets of Baltimore. Newly obtained video shows dirt bike riders interacting with police this weekend as city leaders say they are ramping up a push to get these dirt bikes off the streets. Fox 25's Vincent Hill looking into this. He joins us live with an update tonight. Vincent. Yeah, Mary, after a report we did on Thursday, the state's attorney's office and Baltimore police saying they're going to pump the brakes on illegal dirt bikes, but that plan not getting off to a good start. A day after Fox 45 showed you this video of dirt bike riders dancing in front of Baltimore police. Wow. While others block traffic. The city, I think they should come up with a plan to put some type of dirt bike park in place. The city coming up with a different plan. The state's attorney's office and Baltimore police targeting those who contribute to riders, finding gas stations hundreds of dollars if they provide gas to a dirt bike. But the buzz on social media from residents is that the plan is not a very good one. This Facebook user writing, penalizing the business instead of the individuals themselves, typical government agency passing the responsibility. This user writing, yeah, because that's totally going to work, LOL. Even dirt bike riders weighing in, this poster saying, we're still going to ride. The police chasing us didn't stop us. So you think fines will? Yeah, okay. This video posted to Instagram shows dirt bike riders being chased by Baltimore police. And I got a pack about 50 dirt bikes on East Tesco going up 10th. They got three solo cars with them. Just Foxtrot assisting. Foxtrot, where do you need us? As one of the riders was possibly armed. One of the dirt bikes possibly has a gun. And the day after the city's pledge to go after the businesses. Another vehicle disturbed at the 1200 block of Hall. Male on four wheeler going up and down the street. Baltimore police flooded with calls about disrupted dirt bikes. I was reading the cab for the vehicle disturbance on Warren. For the dirt bike. So much so that police stopped responding. But that vehicle disturbance from the dirt bike. Put that in my box, give it to David now. David no, meaning no police needed, begging the question how or if they will enforce their own initiative. Now that dirt bike enforcement also plans to go after parents of illegal dirt bike riders. Right now, we don't know if that plan will actually work. For now, we're live in Baltimore. Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News.